Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, Carlos King did an interview with TK Trinidad, and they talked about that moment where uh, Martel did not answer uh, that infamous question that he asked him. He also lets us know whether or not uh, Martel's son's mother will be appearing on the next season. Take a listen to what he says. Now, there were some moments where, like, you were even shocked. You were just like, oh. Um, one of the moments where you asked Martel, like, you know, whether he would be married still, like, if he were, and he never answered. Did you expect that or, you know? No. I knew that I wanted to get down to the nitty gritty of the, the, the history of he and Melody's marriage, but also the history of his relationship with the other woman, you know, and... I knew that he trusted me and felt comfortable telling me things. So when I say to you, I've literally allowed myself to be present and allowed myself to feed off of what was given to me from the cast, in this case, Martel. So again, going back to me hosting, I don't think any other host could have extracted that out of him, at least to the point where he was so worried about his truth that instead of lying he decided to just not answer the question which honestly i can appreciate that in a I, sense like you know i can appreciate you at least saying i'm so comfortable answering the question that i don't want to answer it i i, I prefer that versus like saying the a lie for the sake of the lie sounding good so i did appreciate that but girl when i say to you I had no idea that he was not going to answer the question. And I had no idea that his fellow cast members were going to answer it for him. Ooh. Well, let's, I mean, I don't know if you can. So let's talk about this other woman. There's been mention of her uh, plenty of times and we know there's a baby, he has a boy. So congratulations to them. Is there any plans of this other woman revealing herself in the show? Because I kind of want to, like, I, I feel like, and it depends on her personality, but I feel like she should have some time to at least, you know, defend herself or, you know, mm -hmm. explain or have her say. Is there, has there been any talks? Listen, one thing about Love and Marriage Huntsville and the shows that I produce, I follow the reality, right? I follow what my cast members are willing to give. Mm -hmm. I'm not the type of producer who um, goes behind my cast members' back and reveals somebody that they had no idea was going to appear. I don't operate that way. Um, mm -hmm. not, no shade to those who do, that's just not my blueprint. So my answer to that is it would have to be something that the collective would want to do, you know, and then it's a conversation, you know, for okay. example, you know, Maurice, ex-wife, Kaiwa, um, there was a conversation about her being on the show. Like, okay several conversations about that. Mm -hmm. and, to, and to Kyra's credit, she agreed to do it because she wanted to share her side of the story. And Maurice wanted it to happen. And then Kimmy wanted it to happen. So right. that's the way that I operate. It has to be the collective agreeing to it because I'm not here to disrespect anybody. Oh, la, la.